Hello, good afternoon. Bienvenidos, Maximiliano and Jose. Welcome to the class. Bienvenidos a la clase. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent, Maximiliano. That's good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> okay, so we're waiting for your classmates. I don't know. Ya les mandé un mensajito. I sent you a message. Maybe they are connecting. Because they are your co-workers. Son compañeros de trabajo, your co-workers? Yes. Yes? Some, some of them, yes. Some of them, okay, okay, perfect. So, uh, there comes, well, no. That is not a co-worker. So, we only have Jose and Maximiliano. Hasta el momento solo tenemos dos participantes. All right. And I hope that everyone connects later on. Because today we're starting, hoy es el día de inicio. And tomorrow we have the other class, the next class, right? Let's see. Maximiliano, and where do you work? I work on, in El Salvador, Sox. In El Salvador? Sox. What is it? Uh, we made socks, uh, uh, <laughs> basically. Oh, the so name. you make socks? Yes. Oh. But the plant, the name of the plant is Sock. <laughs> sock, okay. Okay, so is that in San Salvador? Uh, no, it's in San Juan Opico. San Juan Opico, yeah, I know where that is. Yeah, I have a friend there in San Juan Opico. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. But I, I think it's a big city, so maybe you don't know her. <laughs> so, uh, so you work in San Juan Pico and you live in San Juan Pico. No, I, I work in San Juan Pico, but I live in Santa Ana. So, so I have to travel all days to work. So how long does it take you? Like how much, like in minutes? Around 50 minutes to an hour, I think. 50 minutes to an hour. Yes, it depends on the traffic. So you have if to drive on the Chorros? No, 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 no. But I think in the churros right now is is chaotic. Yeah, it's a lot of trouble to to go to Santa Tecla. Think. Yeah. So you don't drive through the churros. You drive in another street. Yes, I drive through Juan Pico to Santa Ana. So in the Pan American. Oh, okay, yes, okay, in the Pan American. Yeah. Yeah, because it's a proper name, so we will say Panamerican. Okay. okay, excellent. Thank you, Maximiliano. So nice to meeting meeting you. Okay, thanks. And we have. And I'm, yeah. I'm very excited. Yeah, I'm was, excited too. I was maybe a little anxious because uh, we we didn't <laughs> have the day to start this this new this new model, so I think maybe we we didn't make it. <laughs> Oh, so when did you get the, the information? Uh, I think it was yesterday, but we finished the the past model around two weeks ago, I think. Two weeks ago? Yes. So you're starting yes. pretty quick. Yes. Okay, perfect, perfect, good, good. So, and you have days off in the middle of the week? Yes. So your days off, uh, they are not always the same, right? Because you no, have, they're not. They, for, for example, I'm guessing this week you have Wednesday and Thursday. Yes. Next week you have Thursday and Friday. And Wednesday. <laughs> oh, Wednesday and Friday. I mean, Wednesday and Friday. Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. I mean, Thursday, I think we don't have class because it's a... Uh, um uh well it's the the day of the death right and oh yeah about... oh yeah that's why that's why yeah it's true it's true yeah yeah I, I know what you mean so this week you have wednesday and thursday next you have yes. wednesday thursday and friday then and you the have we have thursday, thursday and friday. friday and the next thursday and friday again uh -huh. 
in, in that sequence, we are going to be in Saturday and Sunday day off in some time. Oh, sometimes you're going to be Saturday and Sunday, and sometimes you're going to yeah. be on, like, during the week. Yes. Oh, okay. 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 I understand. Thank you, Maximiliano. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. So now we have here also Rocio Yasmin. Hi, Rocio. Is she there? Hi, Miss. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm doing good, waiting for you and your classmates. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm guessing they, 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 I don't know, maybe they are eating late. They're having a late lunch, maybe. I don't know. So how are you, Rocio? Um, so you work for socks too, right? And uh, no, textile. Textiles. So, but they are like the same company? Can you they, repeat? They are the same company? Things wrong? Yeah. So, so that is the company name, and you are divided in different branches. Like branches, yes. like dramas. Yeah. Yes. Oh. So, different branches. So, you work for textiles. Right, Rocio? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you work in San Juan Pico too, or where do you work? No, San Pablo Tacachico. Oh, San Pablo Tacachico, okay. And where do you live? Sorry? Where do you live? Oh yeah, um, my parents and whole things. So, but where, like, for example, do you live in San Salvador or do you live in in San Pablo Tacachico? Pablo Tacachico, you say right? Yeah, yeah. So here, you live there. Yeah. I live. Yeah. Okay. 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 Perfect. Excellent, Rocio. Thank you very much. Now we have also Maricruz Sábalos de Flores. Welcome to the class, Maricruz. Well, thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? I am very well. Very well. Okay. So, Maricruz, where do you work? Um, I am work in Haynes Brands. Haynes Brands? Okay. Socks. Socks. Okay. So, you work in San Juan Opico? Uh, yes. Yes. Oh, okay. okay. And where do you live? I live in Ciudad Arce. Ciudad Ars. Okay. Okay. So you are co workers with Maximiliano? Yes. Yeah. 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 So so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, so so. <laughs> How is we that? Sometimes? Different, different areas. Different yes. Algo así. <laughs> different areas. Okay. Different areas. Okay. I understand. Thank, thank you very much. And also, we have here Carlos Enrique. Welcome to the class, Carlos. Welcome, teacher. Hi, how are you? How are you, teacher? I'm doing good, and you? I'm fine, thanks. Excellent. I'm, I'm be a champ in this morning. Why? Because we have a tournament of football soccer in my company, and we have a first place. We are the champions. Oh, congratulations. That's amazing. Good job. Thanks. Okay. Thanks, teacher. Okay, so you, and, and where do you work? I work in Haysbrand in uh, Textiles El Salvador. Oh, so the first place is for Textiles El Salvador Haysbrand, right? Yes, in and... Turn B. Turn B? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Perfect, good job. So I I'm guessing you're excited, you're happy, right? Yes, we're happy because we have a little bit celebration. Oh, okay, so you also <laughs> had a celebration. Okay. So... <laughs> That is two reasons to be happy. Champions and celebration. <laughs> yes, yes, teacher. Okay, amazing. Nice to meet you, Carlos. Thanks. Okay, and then we have Kevin Arnoldo. Welcome to the class, Kevin. Thank you. How are you? Um, I think I'm good. Okay, so, and where do you work, Kevin? In Haynes Brown. Haynes Brown, socks or textiles? Socks. Very good. 
So, in, where do you live? I live in Aguachapan. Aguachapan, okay, okay. Is it hot in there? Mm, sometimes. Sometimes, okay. <laughs> it is not raining right now? No. No? Mm, okay, it's good weather. Okay, no. good weather. Okay, very good. Here where I live, in the morning, it was raining a lot. And the, at noon, like at noon, like when, at, at lunchtime, it was a little bit sunny, like sunny, really hot. And right now, I don't know, it's kind of cloudy, you will say. Like in this part of my face, you cannot see it, and this one, you can see it. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a little bit, I don't know, it's crazy the weather right now. Because Here I, is sunny. I live all the other way from where you live. So, you're living in Huachapan, right? Like um, Santana, right? I'm, I am close uh, Chachuapa, to Chachuapa. Near Chachuapa. Uh -huh. oh. So, but, in, near Atikisaya. Okay, so for example, if you want to go to another Central American country, you can go to Guatemala, right? Because it's close to you? Mm, no. no not not really? <laughs> not really. Oh, okay, okay. Because in my case, the closest country for me is Honduras. Honduras. Yeah. Not that close, but I like I'm close to the border because I I am in Usulután. Yeah, so I'm all the other way. So you live in that place, and I live all the way here, right? We're in two different places, <laughs> right? Excellent. Nice to meet you, Kevin. Thank you. Okay. Nice to meet you too. Okay. Thank you. And we also have Kelvin Ivan, right? Hello, Kelvin. Hi. No? Oyente, maybe? So, I have a question for you. Usually, I am not at home. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So, listen then, right? You're going to be a listen in this class with me. Okay, so, usually, how many students connect to this class in your group? In my previous group, um... I work with Carlos. I think uh, it was around eight to ten. Sometimes they were ten, sometimes were eight. But right now we have another people in this group. For oh. example, it's my first time being in the same group with uh, Marie Cruz. So I don't know how was it in their group. Oh, okay, okay. So you were in a different group before. Yes. With Yes, so you have yes. some of the same classmates, but some different I, classmates. I didn't know Marie Cruz. I didn't know Rocio. Okay. And, but I know Jose Araujo, Kevin. Uh -huh. Yes, I, I, I know it. But um, another people is new for for us. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, so I understand now. I'm, I'm asking you this, like how many students there are like usually, because we have um, start with the class, like fully start with the class. And I didn't know if there were more students coming. Maybe. We we we're connect eight or 10 students. Okay, so eight or 10 students, but I can see here, let me see how many students are here in the group, in the WhatsApp group, one, two, three, four. So 10, it's a, it seems like there are 10 students, 11, 11 actually. So we should be 11 students. So we're waiting for, let me see, let me count, seven, four more students, four students. Okay, well, I hope the other students connect. Esperemos que ellos se conecten, ¿verdad? En cualquier otro momento. But I'm going to start with the class already. Voy a empezar ya con la clase, ¿verdad? Porque ya les esperamos ahí un ratito. Maybe it was because it's short notice. ¿Saben qué es un short notice? 
¿no? A, a notificación, una notificación tardía, digamos. Yeah, so short notice is like, for example, if I say thank you for connecting to the class in such a short notice, significa que les avisamos hace poquito y pues ustedes tienen que estar aquí en la clase y han estado. So maybe it is because it's short notice, maybe some students are not here in the class, but I hope they connect maybe tomorrow or later today because we have two hours classes, right? We, we start at 3 p.m. and we finish at 5 p.m. I hope that you have fun in this class. I really hope so. So you feel like the time goes flying, right? Because when you're bored, it seems like ooh, forever. But when you're like having fun, it's quick. Okay, so I'm gonna start. Uh, first of all, introducing myself. Hello everyone, my name is Diana Rodriguez Sayas. I am going to be your teacher for this course, for this module, okay? I am, um, I, well, I have been working with Inglés Corporativo since 2020, so like since the pandemic started. <laughs> and, um, but I have been working with, uh, let me see, in Zaforp maybe since 2018, yeah, since 2018. So I have been like for five years here, like with these programs. Now, um, I really hope that you have fun. Sometimes I think that having classes online is very different, like being in the classroom. But if you pay attention, if you are like in the classroom, then you're gonna learn the same thing, right? Because if you, I don't know, put the phone on the sofa or on a chair, and you are washing the dishes or cooking or doing something else, you're not gonna be like fully paying attention to the class, right? But if you sit down, if you have a notebook, or if you're like paying attention, then it's gonna be almost the same like we are in a classroom. And thankfully, we have uh, online classes because maybe if we didn't have online classes, right? You wouldn't be able to be here today, maybe, right? Because you live, in dif you live in different places. You work in different places. And we are all here together. Imagine, I'm in all the way in Sulutan, <laughs> and you're all the way there in Aguachapan, San Pico, and all these places, right? So thankfully, we have virtual classes. Again, um, some other things that I would like to say is that there are not dumb questions, right? I like people asking. And if you don't understand something, you can ask. Maybe if I explain it, I don't know, six times already, and you want me to explain it again, I will do it. That's my job. That's why I'm a teacher, right? And I like groups that are supportive, right? Supportive groups, like if my classmate doesn't understand, I can help my classmates. Maybe I understand a little bit more because we did learn in different places, right? There are some students that are like more, like we say in, in, in Salvadorian Spanish, more buzos, right? And there are some other students that take a little bit of time. So I really hope that we can help each other. Yes, and if you have any questions, you can always ask me. Okay, let me go with the presentation because I need to start with today's class. Okay, so as you can see, here is the, well, let me see. Okay, now we can see. Here is the date, and here are the topics that we're gonna cover today. We're gonna cover from topic 1.1 to topic 1.8. As you can see, today's date is Wednesday, October 25th of 2023. Um, the two topics we have for today is conversation, I hardly ever exercise, adverse of frequency. And we have another conversation that is, I'm a real fitness freak. As you know, my name is Diana Rodriguez Sayas, but I like to be called Diana Sayas because I like my, my second last name. <laughs> okay, let's go with the next presentation. Okay, so this is my information. Así me veo, ¿verdad? Ya arregladita, ya bien. <laughs> no como ahorita, right? So this is my uh, information. So I have studied. This is my 
academic information, if you'd like to know. And this is my uh, work experience, right? I have all, worked on all these programs. Uh, this is the university where I study. I have been an ambassador of Spanish as a second language because I lived in the United States for one year. I worked in a school in the United States and I taught Spanish to kids. In exchange, I live with a United States family and they, I don't know, help me improve my English, you would say, right? So yeah. And then I have been instructor, like teaching instructor in Academy International. This is another academy for INSA for. I have been uh, I have been a teacher at ITCA, Padre Santa Santa Tecla. I have been um, like here in Inglés Corporativo. And also this is like a recent uh, work experience. I'm a teacher in a public school in El Salvador, right? So this is my information. Maybe you're like, no le creo que sea la profe. Vamos a ver si de verdad sabe. Por lo menos aquí en cartones. Yes, <laughs> I am the teacher. <laughs> okay. So uh, let's go with the rules or guidelines because I don't like to be, I don't like to call them rules. I like to call them guidelines. So these are the guidelines that we have. And I hope that you, I don't know, help me with this. Okay. First of all, I would like to have the cameras on at all times. You know, that is a requirement to have the camera on. Maybe sometimes like, I don't know, something happened in your, something happens in your house, like, I don't know, and you have to turn off the camera, that is okay, right? Like 10, 15 minutes, like that's a lot of time, but I understand. But the rest of the time, camera encendida, camera is on, okay? Next is full names as in ID. If you can write your full names as in ID, because you know we're taking attendance, right? We are taking attendance and the attendance is with the minutes if you're connected to the class. Turn on your mic only when necessary. Why am I saying this? And I'm gonna say it in Spanish real quick. Lo voy a decir en español rápidamente. Este, el tener encendido el micrófono solo cuando necesario es cuando vaya a participar. ¿Por qué? Porque me ha pasado que estoy en clases a veces y de la nada dice el pan, el pan, o de repente me he metido en la ropa que no sé qué, se está quemando el arroz y el pollo, ¿por qué no lo descongelaron? Entonces, mejor tengamos el micrófono apagado y solo lo encendemos cuando vayamos a opinar. Ok, that's good. Next one is login on time, conectarse a tiempo, ¿verdad? That is very important. You know, we have two hours classes and we only have eight classes, right? So we need to be here on time. Next one, well, this one is the, oh, play primero este pues esto. Anyways, Spanish as a last resource. What is the meaning of that? That is Spanish, we can speak Spanish, but if we really don't know how to say something in English, okay? But otherwise, I would like you to try to speak in English because we are learning English, not Spanish, right? Like my students in the school, when they are in the exam, they are taking an exam and they say, Miss, en inglés o en español? I'm like, well, we're learning English, <laughs> not in Spanish. So yeah, in English. So next is attendance is the minutes. So we are hoping that you connect the two hours to the class, not only come here to the class and like, are like, I don't know, 30 minutes and then you disconnect, okay? We hope that you connect to the two hours classes. And then we need to work on the platform. That is the final requirement, but it is very important because it doesn't matter if you connected to all the classes, but you didn't work on the platform, right? It's like you go to the school all, uh, all weeks, every day, like the whole year you go to the school, but you don't do the homework, you don't do the exams, and you want to go to the next level. You cannot go, right? <laughs> because you need to approve the exams and you need to do the homework. So same thing here. Do you have access to the platform? Yes, I yes. already checked. Yeah, okay, okay. So 
it is important that you check if you have access to the platform because we need to be doing the homeworks and the assignments we have there. Let me go here to the platform so we can go over it. Let me share my screen. Okay, here we are. So this is your first. And here you have different parts. Like the most important ones are these ones. The one that says curse. And manual de principiante. Because this one is like a booklet or a book, ¿verdad? Que se les da. De hecho, creo que en un momento les piden que llenen una ficha sobre esto. Yeah? Like, ¿ustedes recibieron este manual? ¿Sí les han pedido que llenen ficha sobre que han recibido un manual? No, nunca. No, no. Oh, bueno. Entonces, si no, estoy en otro tema. Bueno, a veces es necesario, a veces no, pero siempre es importante. It's important that you know that you have this uh, material, right? This material we have here. But the most important part is here, that it says course, right? So you click on there, and we have five sections. These five sections, I'm guessing you know already, but I have to go over this so it is very clear. And we have here. Lesson objectives. We have also videos to the classes. But this one here with the little square and pencil is the important part. This is called knowledge check, right? In the knowledge check, what you have to do is complete the homeworks or the assignments, questions, whatever we have here. And if, for example, here in section one, you have one two, three knowledge check, right? So we need to complete those things in order to have a grade, right? Because when you are finishing that, then we're going to be having, um, like, I don't know, the approval for the next level, okay? So it's very important that you do this. For example, we have here, do you play sports? Or do you ever play sports? Do you ever play sports? Ever you play sports? Do you play sports ever? So obviously I choose, do you ever play sports? Because that's the correct one. Oh, I have to do them all. Que la voy a hacer al azar. I'm just gonna do it them randomly, okay? Para mostrarles algo so I can show you something. Okay, so I click enviar or submit. And I find out that I have a lot of mistakes. You can see a lot of mistakes. Si yo hiciera un examen al Team Marín, me saco cero. Ya vieron, ¿verdad? So, <laughs> I have here this, pero lo bueno es que puedo corregirlo. So, aquí está, miren. Sure, I play soccer twice a week. I twice a week, twice a week, this one, right? Then I go, what do you do on Saturday morning, usually? What do you usually, sería el correcto, quito este. And then I do this one. Do you do aerobics at the gym often? Do you often? So then I correct them. And you see, now I have a 25 points because I correct them all. So if you ever make mistakes, you can do it again, right? But the problem is the last time you do it is the last grade you're going to have, okay? So try to do it correctly the last time, like all of them correct, so you have a good grade. Questions so far? Do you have questions? It's all clear? Clear. Okay, perfect, excellent. So I see we have other classmates here. Now I can see Rocio, nice to see you, Rocio. And we also have Roberto Lemus over there. Excellent, welcome to the class, Roberto. Uh, well, he was the one that couldn't have access to the to the Zoom, but now he has access. And also we have Marvin Arlondo. Welcome to the class, Marvin. Okay, so if you're gonna be like uh, listeners, just let me know. Miss Cleveland is on listeners, okay, in a moment. Okay, so uh, let's go here really quick. I like to get to know you a little bit. So maybe, um, well, at the beginning of the class, I was speaking to some classmates 
and maybe I know some of this information, but I would like you to go with this, okay? So we all are going to have uh, a little bit of time, have like a participation, and you can tell me any of this information. You don't have to tell me all the information, okay? <laughs> because sometimes I know people doesn't like to say the age, but if you want to say the age, it's okay. So for example, this one, if I do it myself, it will be, hello everyone. My name is Diana Sayas. I live in Usulutan. I work in Inglés Corporativo and I am 29 years old, okay? So now let's go with you. Maybe you can choose three. No me tienen que decir todos, only three, okay? If you want to. Let's go with Maximiliano. Okay, Maximiliano, tell me your information. Hello, everyone. My name is Maximiliano Escobar. I live in Santa Ana City. And I work in El Salvador Sox, Haines brand, and I'm 35 years old. Excellent, Maximiliano. Nice to meet you. Okay, now let's go with Maricruz. Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Maricruz Avalos. I live in Ciudad Arce. I work in Haines Brand, El Salvador Sox. I, I am 38 uh, years old. Excellent. Thank you, Maricruz. Now let's go with Carlos Enrique. The champion. Yes, yes, yes. Tell me, tell me. Uh, introduction. Your name, where do you live, and all the stuff. Uh, please uh, take me a, a pic. Okay. You want you want to share the screen? Okay. I, w I can share the screen. Hello, everyone. My name is Carlos Mendoza. I live in Santa Ana. I work in Textiles El Salvador. I am 40 years old. Okay, excellent. Thank you. And I am the champion, you say, right? <laughs> and I'm the champ. Okay, excellent, Carlos. Thank you. Kevin, Arnoldo, let's go with you. I forgot the screen. <laughs> you want me to share the screen? It's okay. I can do it. Um, okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Kevin. I live in Aguachapa. I work in Haines Brown, El Salvador Sox. I am 29 years old. Excellent. We're the same age, Kevin. What? We are the same age. Ah. So you were born in 1994? What? You were born in 1994? No, I was born in... No. You were born in no. 1993? Mm, four. Yeah, 1994. 1994. Okay, yeah, okay, excellent. Okay, let's go now with Roberto Lemus. Hello, everyone. My name is Roberto Lemus. I live, I live in Lourdes, Colón. I work in Haynesburg, El Salvador, Sox. And I am 50 years old. Excellent. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Roberto. Thank you. Okay, now let's go with Rocio. Hello, everyone. My name is Jasmine. I live in Takachico. I work in Hinsborough Textiles. I am 23 years old. Nice to meet you, everyone. Excellent. Nice to meet you, Rocio. Okay, and then we have Jose Araujo and Marvin. I think they are oyentes today, right? I think Marvin Arnoldo, si es oyente. Yes, teacher. Yes. Marvin, puede presentarse. Yes. Can you introduce your, yourself? Hello, everyone. My name is Marvin Arnoldo Caballero. I live in Lourdes, Colón. I work in James Brown, Salvador, Textiles. I am 30, 37 year old. Okay, excellent. Nice to meet you, Marvin. Excellent. Thank you. 
Okay, maybe you know each other. Maybe you all you know each other, but I didn't know you, right? So I needed to know you. And I needed to hear your voice because I like when my students participate in this class, okay? Excellent. Now let's go with the next activity we have here. Let me share my screen with you. So, I don't know. Have you ever learned a tongue twister in English? Do you know what is a tongue twister? Language. Yeah. So, do you know a tongue twister in English? No? Huh? No. Yes. Yeah. Which one, Kevin? Uh, por cierto, este es bien bonito. Uh, the worst war in the world is war. Oh, okay. So you la peor palabra, la peor palabra del mundo es guerra. Yeah, it leaves a message behind it. Okay. Okay. So I have a tongue twister for you. It doesn't have a message. <laughs> it doesn't even make sense, <laughs> but it's gonna help you. So here is the question. La gente dice, no, pero es que yo llevo años aprendiendo inglés y no sé qué, no sé cuánto, y a mí yo no puedo hablar. Yo oírlo y entenderlo, sí puedo, pero ya hablar me cuesta. ¿Vale? Si a mí me pagaran por cada vez que he escuchado eso, if I was paid to, oh my God, pues ya, ya no trabajara. No, I wouldn't be working. But, ¿qué pasa si yo voy al gimnasio? What happens if I go to the gym? Y el instructor me dice, haga 25 sentadillas en cuatro repeticiones. Y yo me imagino que las hago y digo. ¿Hago ejercicio? ¿Am I working out? No. no. Entonces vienen aquí y ustedes están practicando inglés en su mente. Y a la hora de hablar, no, pero es que aquí suena bien. Pero ya cuando lo voy a hablar, obviously. It's the same thing. It's como ir al gym. It's like going to the gym. <laughs> exactly, right? So, why? ¿Por qué pasa esto? Because we have something called phonetics. Phonetica. And phonetics in Spanish is not the same as phonetics in English, right? ¿Y ustedes desde chiquitos qué idioma hablan? Spanish. Spanish. We know how to speak Spanish. Caliche Spanish. <laughs> Pero sabemos hablar Spanish, right? So here is the situation. Acá tenemos cuerdas bucales. Acá en la boca tenemos un montón de músculos. Solo para hacer el movimiento, uf, un montón de músculos. Usted está comiendo, está haciendo ejercicio. Está entrenando estos músculos de aquí, no estos de aquí, ¿verdad? Pero sí está entrenando, right? So, ¿qué pasa cuando yo no, I don't speak English? Okay? Esos músculos no están activados. ¿Ya? Yeah? ¿Qué tengo que hacer para activarlos? Ejercicio. Right? Es la mejor forma de mejorar su pronunciación. Es mágico. It's like magic. The more I speak, the better pronunciation I will have. Yes? Me pasó a mí. Cuando llegué a Estados Unidos, a mi, a mi intercambio, yo hablaba inglés face. O sea, like, oh my goodness. Escucho audios de mi inglés antes. No. No, no, no. I don't like it. But I improved. ¿Por qué mejoré? Porque tuve que verme forzada a hablar English. I was forced to speak English. So what are you going to do? You're going to do some exercise. And la mejor forma de hacer ejercicio para hablar es learning songs, aprenderse canciones, and tongue twisters. Me pasó que al inicio de la virtualidad de las clases yo empecé a, aprender, a aprenderme canciones con los estudiantes, como en las presenciales. Pero como el internet no nos va igual a todos, unos iban empezando, otros terminando, otro en medio, y esto pareció un rezo, ¿verdad? Y se veía, escuchaba, it was all messed up. So what are we going to do? We're going to learn tongue twisters. And that is going to be pronunciation training, training pronunciation, okay? And this is the first tongue twister you have. In this tongue twister, we are going to practice two important pronunciations. Let me show you. No es solo porque sí. We have two important pronunciations here. Let me teach you. This is the first important pronunciation. The S at the beginning of words. S. And the next important pronunciation is the letter R. 
R, 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 and R. Why are these pronunciations so important? ¿Por qué son tan importantes? Why are they so important? Because aquí usualmente sucede algo cuando la gente habla español y quiere aprender inglés. La gente dice scream, scream. Y ahí no hay una E. No, no hay. So, I don't say it. Y solo the sound of the S. Scream, scream, scream. No. ¿Listen? Scream, incorrect. Scream, correct. Scream, incorrect. Scream, correct. Now, the other pronunciation that is very important is the letter R. Why? Because in Spanish, we say they are really strong and we roll it. Right? We say scream. That, right? And in English, pay attention to this, the letter R se queda en el paladar. Aquí arriba en inglés así. R. R. Not R. R. The tongue pointing up. La lengua apuntando hacia arriba. R. For example, I say car, incorrect. Car, car, arriba. Si lo empiezan a decir así, van a sonar más nativos en inglés. Yes? So, I scream, cream, cream, up, cream, I scream. Let's go with it again. Vamos de nuevo. Okay, let's go. I'm going to read it for you. Lo voy a leer para ustedes. I'm going to read it for you, okay? And you, lo van a hacer más rápido. Sí. I'm going to read it fast. Primero rápido y luego lo voy a decir lento. It's ice cream, juice cream, well cream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, well cream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, well cream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, well cream for ice cream. Okay? That's how you're going to say it. Y les digo que ustedes van a hacerlo better than I do it. Mejor de lo que yo lo hago. Okay? Yes? That's the attitude. Okay? So, vamos despacito. I, y voy a unir como que voy a ir uniendo estas dos palabras. So, I'm joining these words. I scream. You scream. We all scream. For ice cream. And these words, they look similar. Ice cream, ice cream. Right? I scream. You scream. We all scream for ice cream. One more time. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. One more time. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Yeah? So, first, we're going to go slow. Primero vamos a ir lento, okay? Slow. No queramos correr antes de aprender a gatear. Right? Slow. Y luego vamos a añadir la velocidad. One more time. I scream. You scream. We all scream for ice cream. I scream. You scream. We'll scream for ice cream. I scream. You scream. We'll scream for ice cream. I scream. You scream. We'll scream for ice cream. Okay? Tomen una captura de pantalla para que podamos ir a practicar. Okay, so we can go and practice. Take a screenshot. Ahí cuando se vean en el trabajo, practiquen. <laughs> right? <coughs> bueno, okay. So we're going to go and practice to the breaker rooms. Vamos a ir a practicar a los breaker rooms. Ya han trabajado en breaker rooms, ¿verdad? Yeah, yeah? okay. Ya mandaron la imagen ahí al grupo. Okay, thank you. Les voy a mandar pronunciation. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Okay, ahí está. Vamos a crear los grupos. Ayudémonos mutuamente. Okay, so we help each other. Let me see. Ahí vamos. Acepten las invitaciones. Let's go. Vamos, vamos. 
Carlos, Marvin, Naro. Carlos. Naro, Marvin, vamos a ir a trabajar, please. Teacher. Teacher. Hola Marvin, ¿no le llegó la invitación? Sí, teacher, me llegó, pero fíjese que no pude entrar. Ah, este. Ah, I can't add you right now. So, ahí vamos. Okay.
Try to read more fast. Ice cream, your cream. We all scream for ice cream. <laughs> Happen? Are you shy because I'm here? Not too sure. Okay. Quiero escucharles practicing, practicing. Díganlo cinco veces seguidos cada uno y así. Let's go, let's go. Okay. Ice cream, your cream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, your cream, for we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, your cream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream, and ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Excellent, good job. Now everyone else, vamos los demás, let's go. Go ahead, Rosie. Okay, ice cream, cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Good, ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Try everyone. Pueden intentar que everyone lo diga five times in a row. Cinco veces seguidas para ver cómo lo hacen, ¿ok? Ok. Hello, hello. Bueno, practicando. Intentemos decirlo. Mientras más veces lo digamos, mejor va a salir, ¿ok? So, let's go. Let's go practice. Yo estoy aquí en la sala principal, pero aquí puedo ver cuáles grupos están practicando y cuáles no. Right? Aquí veo que Maricruz está practicando en el 1. Maximiliano está hablando en el 2 también. Es mejor, está mejor. Let's practice, let's practice. No estoy ahí, pero les veo.
No solo los mismos compañeros, los demás también intentemos. Let's try, let's try, let's do it. Mientras, the more, the better. Mientras más practiquemos, mejor. Um, teacher no se escucha <laughs> okay now can you hear me Yes. Okay, you're aquí hablando. Like, oh my God. Okay, anyways. Mm -hmm. So, did you have a good practice? Yeah? Did you practice a lot? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay. So, who thinks can say it right now? Who can say it right now? How many times? Five times in a row, if you can. Can you share the, the, oh, okay. the image? Let me wait a minute. Okay. I'm gonna go first. Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Excellent. Good job. Let's give the classmate an applause. Okay, Maximiliano, you choose the next participant. Okay. I'm going to choose Carlos. Okay, Carlos. I know it. I know it. <laughs> you knew it? Ice cream, you screen, we all screen for ice cream. Ice cream, you screen, we all screen for ice cream. Ice cream, you screen, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, you screen, we all scream for ice cream. And ice cream, you screen, we all scream for ice cream. Good job. Let's give an applause to Carlos. Good job, Carlos. Excellent. El que no aplaude porque tiene envidia de la mala, de la que no deja dormir en la noche. Ajá. Okay, Carlos, choose the next participant, please. I choose Marvin. Marvin, you have been chosen. I ask cream, you ask cream, we ask cream for ice cream. 
I ice cream, you ice cream, we ice cream for ice cream. I ice cream, you ice cream, we ice cream for ice cream. Okay, aquí en esta segunda diga juice cream. Juice cream. Diga ice cream, juice cream. Ice cream, juice cream. Dígalo de nuevo así completo. Ice cream, juice cream. Todo completo, hasta, hasta la última. I Ice cream, juice cream, we all cream for ice cream. Excellent, that was better. Excellent, thank you. Good job. Marvin, choose the next participant. One more, este es el último. Elija bien, sabiamente. Choose wisely. Um, Kevin Arnoldo. Okay, Kevin Arnoldo, have been chosen. You're the chosen one. I think like hate me. Ice cream, just cream, well cream for ice cream. Ice cream, just cream, well cream for ice cream. Ice cream, just cream, well cream for ice cream. Excellent. Good job. He did a good job. Ice cream. Yes, excellent. Good applause. Un aplauso para todos los que participaron. Everyone who participated, good job, good job, excellent. Ah, ya ven que si pueden aplaudir. Ah, la envidia es mala. Porro, eh. Ok. Me voy a los vecinos aplaudiendo. <ríe> bueno, que sepan que estamos felices en la clase del English with English. Right. Ok, let's go. Vamos a ir con la conversation, ok. Miren, estos tongue twisters vamos a ir practicando hasta que sea mejor. Aquí tiene que dolernos. It has to hurt. Si duele aquí, lo está haciendo bien. Si no, no good. Ok, porque estamos cambiando la pronunciación. Ya yeah, es not Spanish anymore. It's English now. Ok. Let's go with this conversation. Esto ya, como ya entrenaron pronunciation, esto le va a salir super easy. How often do you exercise? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about how often they do an activity. Pay attention to the question, how often, and what they use to respond. I hardly ever exercise. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early, and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go inline skating. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. In our next session, I will teach you adverbs of frequency so you can... Okay, okay. So we're talking about... Adverbs of frequency, for example, never, always, usually, and things like that. So, how do we use the adverbs of frequency? We have seen this topic, momentos, but now we're going to see it. Here. For example, I usually, I always take a shower. Aquí si usted no siempre se baña no no importa, ¿verdad? Porque como estamos en línea no se siente. Okay, I always take a shower. Mire cómo hacemos el orden. First we have subject, adverb of frequency, and verb and complement, okay? So in that way we have to do es como una regla, ¿verdad? Subject plus adverb wait adverb of frequency, vamos a resumir, plus verb, plus complement, okay? So this is like the rule we're gonna use. Si ven, se cumple la regla, yeah? So, here we have. Okay, so we have subject, we have the adverb of frequency, we have the verb, and we have the complement, right? Vamos a hacer otro ejemplo. Let's do another example. I never drink alcohol. Porque yo sé que aquí nadie hace eso. I never drink alcohol. ¿Verdad? So this one is another. So we have a subject. Oh my God, espera. ¿Por qué no le giro poquito? Ok. So we have the subject. The subject is the person doing the action, I. The adverb of frequency will be never. The, uh, oh, sorry. The verb will be drink. 
the complement will be ask, right? So this right here is the structure for sentences with adverbs of frequency. And we have a lot of adverbs of frequency. We have always, sometimes, never, hardly ever, seldom. Do you know the adverse of frequency? ¿Los conocen? Do you know the adverse of frequency? Yeah? Yes. More or less. Okay, so-so. It's better to say so-so. Maybe not, not them. Not them all. Not all of them? So-so? Okay, perfect. Let me show you. Wait a moment. <clears throat> like a triangle. So you can see the adverse of frequency, okay? So here we have this triangle showing you the adverse of frequency. So the adverse of frequency, they are organized by percentage. The thing we do the most to the thing we do the less, okay? So we do this activity more, we do this activity never, like never in time. So the activity we do 100% of the time, that is always, right? For example, I always eat. We eat every day, right? Then we have usually, an activity that you do most of the time, but sometimes you don't do it, right? So for example, I usually go to work. Casi siempre voy al trabajo, pero pues los fines de semana no, right? O los días libres, days off. Often, this is an activity you do a lot, there is like a 30% of time that you don't do this activity. For example, I often go to the park. I often talk to my friends, something like that. And sometimes it's an activity that you do, sometimes, so 50 and 50. Sometimes you don't do it, sometimes you do it, 50 and 50. Hardly ever is an activity that you don't do very often. So for example, I hardly ever go to the beach. I hardly ever go to the cinema or to the movie theater. I hardly ever, I don't know, what else I hardly ever do. I hardly ever play basketball. I hardly ever, like things like that, right? Like you do very randomly. And never is an activity you never do, never. Like for example, I never traveled to Chalatenango. Yo nunca he ido a Chalatenango. Entonces, yo nunca viajo a Chalatenango. I, have, I never traveled to Chalatenango. I never, um, let's see. I never have pata soup. No me gusta la sopa de pata, así que I never drink it. I never have it, right? Si ¿Sí saben cuál es la sopa de pata, es que todo el mundo le dice diferente. Algunos le dicen sopa de, ¿cómo le dicen? sopa de pata, pero es que hay otra forma de decirlo. I don't remember. But yeah, those things. So, usualmente vamos a decir el subject, adverb, verb. Ahora les tengo un juego. I have a game for you. Les voy a decir three activities que yo hago. But one is a lie. Una es mentira. Ustedes tienen que adivinar cuál es la mentira. You have to guess what is the lie. Y después ustedes van a hacer una similar. ¿Ok? Yes, ¿Se entiende? Yes. Carlos, are we there? ¿Estamos ahí, Carlos? Yes, yes, yes. Ok, excelente, Carlos. Ok, vamos a hacer el juego. Me dicen ahí. Two truths and one lie. Estas son mis sentences. Ustedes van a decir. We have one, two, three. I always drive a motorcycle to work. I never eat meat. I usually watch movies in English. What do you think is the lie? Number one. Number one? Number one. Number one? Number two. Number two? Okay. Number two. Se ve que le gusta la carne. Number two, I think. Okay, number two. Estamos entre one and two. Nadie dice three. Okay. Porque piensan que el three no. <laughs> I don't know. Curiosity. Okay. Are you ready? Ya les digo cuál es la real. La mentira, perdón. The lie is I never eat meat. Yeah. So, los que adivinaron que number two, correct. Yeah, it's number two. That's the lie. Because I eat meat. Yo no podría ser vegetariana. No. Never in my life. Si imaginan solo comiendo monte, yo no podría. No, no, no. 
hay una cadena alimenticia, perdón por la gente que sí es vegana o vegetariana, pero I couldn't never. Ok, and this one is true. Algunos dijeron que es mentira. No, yo voy en moto al trabajo. I always drive a motorcycle to work. Algunos dicen que no es moto porque una nave no cuenta como una moto, pero yo digo que sí es moto. Right? It's my motorcycle. Parece en patineta. Yeah, but they, pero hace el trabajo. Mire, a ochentita no me pasa, pero llego al trabajo. Right? Okay. <laughs> Llega más rápido que el carro. Eso sí. Always, always, all the time. Ok, so ahora van a hacer ustedes lo mismo. Escriban, pueden escribirle un cuaderno, tres mentiras. Van a escribir tres oraciones. Una tiene que ser mentira y después entre todos vamos a adivinar cuál es la mentira. Ok, escríbanlas, les doy tiempo. I'll give you five minutes. Utilizando adverso frequency, ¿verdad? Never, always y así. Por ejemplo, si alguien dice I always take a shower, no se baña siempre, se puede hacer la mentira. Entendemos la actividad que estamos haciendo. ¿eh? Do we understand? Yes. Yes. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, two more minutes. Are we ready? Estamos ready? Yeah? Yes. Okay, Maximilian is ready. Who else is ready? Nobody else? Nadie más está listo? No? No, only Maximiliano. Okay. Ready. Okay, excellent. Ready. Okay. Si yo en María Cruz están. Ready. La salida de ustedes no andan auriculares. Yeah. No. <ríe> Aquí tengo auriculares, pero no se los puedo prestar. Están lejos. No, porque es un gusto. <ríe> ok. Estoy un minutito más para que terminemos. Okay.
Okay. So let's go. Vamos a empezar entonces con Maximiliano. We're going to start with Maximiliano. Maximiliano, tell your three sentences and we have to guess what is the true and what is the lie. Okay. Here's the first one. I often go to the church. Mm -hmm. I never eat pizza. Mm -hmm. I usually take the bus to work. Hmm. Never go to church. Usually eat pizza. And no. the last one? I never eat pizza. Never and eat pizza? I usually take the bus to work. Okay. I never eat pizza. So what do you think is the lie, you guys? I think we often eat pizza. Yes. So, la que dice que never eat pizza, esa es la mentira? Pizza. Yeah. Yes. Is that the lie, Maximiliano? Yes. Yes, <laughs> okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, okay, excellent. Good job, Maximiliano. Maximiliano, you choose the next participant. I'm going to choose Rocio this time. Okay, Rocio. Okay, um, number one, I always go to work. Number two, I often go to the lake. Number three, I usually don't drink Coca-Cola. I think it's number three. I think it's number three. Three? three. three. Everyone thinks three? Three. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you see you like Coca-Cola? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Excellent, Rocío. Good job. Rocío, choose the next participant, please. Um Mr. Robert. Okay, Robert. Number one, I never drink alcohol. Alcohol. Number two. I often visit my brothers. Number three, I sometimes work overtime. Wow, this one is difficult. <laughs> I, th I think it's difficult. So the first one you say, I never drink alcohol. Number yes. two? Number one. That is a lie? Yes. <gasps> yes, it's a lie. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at Carlos. He's like, yeah, that is a lie. So number one is the lie? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. So you sometimes drink alcohol. <laughs> never. <laughs> you never? Never. Oh, entonces eso es verdad. Estamos adivinando yes. cuál es la mentira. Ay. Lo copié mal. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So you were meant to say... So, solo were... una, ¿verdad? Um, well, well, the number three... Podría What's ser the number falsa. three? Can you tell me what is number three? I sometimes work overtime. Okay, so you, yeah. you, don't, you don't work sometimes overtime, right? Okay. I guess he hardly ever works on overtime. <laughs> hardly ever it will be. Okay, okay, okay. Excellent. Roberto, choose the next participant, please. Um, Maricruz. Okay, thank you. Maricruz, your turn. Okay, yes. Number one, um, I always go to work by car. Number two, I sometimes eat pizza. Number three, I often ride a bike. I often ride a bike. Okay. So what is the like you think, yeah, you guys? I think number one. Three? Number one, number three. So we have one. We have yes, three. number one. Number it's number one. one. So you don't yes. go to work by car? Um, a veces, a veces Sometimes. car, a veces bus, bus. Okay, bus. Okay, excellent. Mari Cruz, who's the next participant? We have Genaro, Carlos, Kevin, and Marvin. Um, Genaro. Okay, Genaro. Genaro, <laughs> No me le han prestado auriculares a Genaro, lo que pasa. Ah, tengo mala señal, teacher, pero voy a tratar de responder lo que me preguntan. It's okay. okay. 
Um, no sé si me escuchan. Sí, lo escuchamos. Yes, we can hear you. Mm, bueno. Uh, I usually play soccer. Uh -huh, the next one. Uh, sometimes as mechanic. Sometimes you're a mechanic, okay. Uh, hardly ever a um, motorcycle. Ride motorcycle. You hardly ever drive a motorcycle. Mm. La primera dijo... Okay. I don't remember the first one. Soccer, football. Okay, so play soccer. Mm. So I think it's the number three. I don't know you guys. Uh, what do you think? I usually play soccer, dije la primera. Okay. So what do you think? ¿Qué piensan? ¿Cuál es la mentira? What do you think, you guys? Number one. Number one is the mentira? No, jue no juega soccer? Usually? Maybe over. Number two. Number two? Okay. Sometimes is the a mechanic. No, Genaro, what is the lie? Um, yes, a mechanic. Oh, you're a mechanic. Sí, yes. <laughs> no, what is the lie? ¿Cuál es la mentira? I think the number three is the, the ball. Um, the play soccer. <laughs> oh, the play soccer. Okay, okay. Sí, okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Genaro, choose the next participant, please. Um, están Marvin, Kevin y Carlos. En Carlos. Um, Kevin. Kevin, ok, let's go with Kevin. Yes. Ay, la disculpa del caso, pero tengo muy mal internet aquí en el sitio donde estoy. It's ok, no te preocupes. Try your best. Number one. Yeah, we can hear you. Se me oye. Number one, I always arrive early to work. Number two, I never drink coffee. Number three, I sometimes visit my grandma. I think I know what is the lie. Yo creo que sí sé cuál. I think it's number two. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yes, number two. Right, right, right. No he conocido yo salvadoreño que no sea cafetero. Right? <laughs> I have not known any salvadorian who doesn't like coffee. Okay, excellent. Kevin, thank you. Yo eso sí, que después de las dos de la tarde no les ando tomando café porque no duermo en la noche. Yo sí soy bien mala para el café. Pero en la mañana no soy persona si no tomo café. <ríe> ok, Kevin, choose the next participant. We only have Carlos and Marvin. Carlos. Ok, Carlos. Your turn. I always drive my car to my job. Ok. I rarely drink beer and I never play soccer in my days off. Well, I, well, what do you think? Guys? Number three. Number three. Number three. Number I think three. it's number one. You think it's number one? Yes. What number was number three. What was the number one? He I always... always drive my car to my job. Okay, so you think that's the lie pero él dice que le encanta yes, no. el fútbol y dice que es el Champions so por eso me da el, yes. el, el, el que no sé. Hmm. What is the lie, number Carlos? The lie is, is number one because I always take a bus to my job. Oh, okay, okay. So, you don't always play soccer on your days off? Yes, I always play soccer oh, in so my days always. off. Y la oración era usually? Yes. Oh, okay, 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 excellent. So, qué dichosos los que pueden llegar en bus a su trabajo. Qué envidia les tengo. Okay, so, obviously, we have Marvin. Last but not least, el último, pero no menos importante, Marvin. Marvin se hace esperar, dice. Lo bueno se hace esperar. Marvin. de ¿No? Hello, it's me, Hello, it's me. 
<laughs> I was wondering si puede participar. <laughs> no, okay, Marvin is not here now. Maybe he's a listener right now. Está de oyente ahorita. Okay, let's say. Okay, so that was fun. That was good. Ahora vamos con un, um, 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 let me see. Conversation, la conversation que teníamos. Déjenme un momento. Se ve feo. It seems blurry. Blurry, ¿saben qué es blurry? It's, it's blurry. like a distortion. Like borroso, right? Yeah, yes. Okay, so it seems blurry, pero si lo logran ver, les voy a dar pronunciation. Okay, it's, you're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go inline skating. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh. Uh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I am a real couch potato. You guys, there's two things in English. Pronunciation and intonation. Hay dos cosas en inglés. La pronunciación y la entonación. Okay? Ay, miren, me veo así como que tengo una idea bien genial. Es como me da la luz. <laughs> okay, so we have two pronunciations right? Pronunciation and intonation, I mean. ¿Ustedes han escuchado alguna vez hablar a Sofía Vergara en English? Mejor a Peña Nieto. <laughs> no, pero les digo el ejemplo de Sofía Vergara por, un, por una razón. ¿La han escuchado? I think, yes. She, she speaks English like this. She's very Latina when speaking English, because she is like pronunciation like this. She's very Latina, right? She's like that. Yes. But here's sounds... the situation. She has good pronunciation. Ya tiene buena pronunciación. ¿Saben cuál es su problema? Intonation. Right? Lo dice, she speaks like very like this. She speaks very like this. It's the same pronunciation, but with different intonation. Right? Otra cosa que es muy común en los estudiantes. Cuando están en las conversations, a mí no me gusta que hablen así como, hello, my name is Juan. What is your name? ¿Quién habla así en la vida real? Hola, yo soy Juan. Hola, mucho gusto, Juan. Hey, ¿qué onda? Ah, ¿qué onda? Aquí bien, ¿y vos? ¿Cómo, cómo que? Ah, yo soy Juan, ¿y vos cómo te llamas? Ah, vos sos Juan. Sí, sí, sí. The Bluetooth device is ready to pal. The Bluetooth device is ready to The Bluetooth device is connected successfully. Connected successfully. Yeah. Good. Okay, so here is the situation. We have to have good intonation. Tenemos que mejorar esa entonación. Cuando estén en la conversation, pónganle feeling. It's like you're there. No solo lean por leer. It's not a reading. It's a conversation. So voy a evaluar mucho esto. Dame un segundo que le voy a... Eh, les tengo que mandar audio, pero tengo que ir a traer el teléfono para mandarles audio. Dame un segundito. Ya se los traigo para mandarles un audio de esto. Que lo puedan practicar bien. Give me a second. Ok, I'm ready. Les voy a enviar audio con intonation. Ahí vamos. You are really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I go, I line skating. Wow, how often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Um, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV 
in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. Ok, ahí tienen el audio, para que vayamos a practicar. Si yo llego a los break rooms y no los oigo practicar, es porque ya se lo sabe bien de memoria y no tendría que haber ningún error. Yes? Yes? Maximiliano, tell me. I have a question. Hmm? What a real couch potato means? That's like a slang. Sería como, una, como un slang del English en decir que soy como una papa. Dice, soy papa de, de sofá. O sea, es como decir, me la paso echado todo el día. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. Thanks. Ese sería el mínimo. Ok. Bien. Vamos a ir a los break rooms a practicar. A practicar. Aquí puedo ver si están practicando. Aquí me dice si están. Ahí se ven los micrófonos abiertos. Quién está hablando. Quién tiene cámara apagada. Ahí se ve todo. Ok. Vamos. Genaro, ¿le llegó la invitación? Um, no, teacher. Vaya, se la voy a volver a reenviar. Vamos ahí.
Ok, welcome back. Bienvenidos y bienvenidas de nuevo. Vamos a ver quiénes pueden practicar la conversation. We're going to be the ones practicing the conversation aquí. Ok, ahí tenemos un dos, mire. Está de alumno de la clase. Vamos a enseñarle a decir guau wow, guau wow, en inglés. Right. <laughs> ok, let's go. Continue. Vamos a ir. Voy a elegir aquí. Participants. Voy a elegir primero a... Carlos. Y usted dígame con quién quiere hacer la conversación. With Rocío. Ok, Rocío, you have been chosen. Carlos, ok, Rocío, you start. Se empieza. Ok. You really fit, Paul? Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go in light skating. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually use watch TV in my free time. I guess I am a really cooked potato. Okay, excellent. Good job. Very good. Esa palabra que le vamos a decir como serious. Okay, serious. Okay, vamos a elegir el next participant. Y va a ser... Maricruz. Okay. ¿Con quién quiere participar? Who do you... um, Maximiliano. Maximiliano is your partner, okay? Maricruz, you start. Y mira, se llama Mari también. <laughs> okay. Uh, you really fit, Paul? Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I, li I lift weight for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go in line skating. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly even exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I am real coach potato. Okay, excellent. Good job. Bien, thank you. Good job. Vamos con Roberto. Choose your partner. He has a partner. Choose your partner. Kevin. Kevin, okay. Roberto, you start. You really fit, Paul? Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I lift weight for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And uh, and then I often go in the line skating. Whoa. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I am real push potato. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Un aplauso a todos los que participaron. Un aplauso. Good job. Okay. Bien. So we only have one more conversation to cover. And I think that's pretty much for today. Okay. Let me see. This conversation is... I'm a real fitness freak. Fitness freak is like crazy for the gym. Like they like to go and they like to go to the gym and exercise. Okay, here we have it. You're in great shape. Do you know the meaning of shape? Forma. Figura, forma. You're in great shape. Shape. Eat. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? The workout is like exercise. Well, I do aerobics twice a week. <clears throat> and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Um, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right. But I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Okay. So here, this one you can say pretty well, pretty well, or pretty well. Both is correct. Pretty or pretty, both are correct. Okay. Les mando audio. 
Tell you podemos darle conversation mejor todavía. You're in great shape, kid. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week. And I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Um, do you want to play sometime? Um, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I am not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Vamos a ir a practicar. Ahí les veo los que están practicando. I can see you practicing, right? I'll see you, see you. Porque ahí se ven las cámaras encendidas, microphones on, cameras on, and I can see you. Let me see. Hmm. Okay. Ahí están las salas. You can go now. Sorry, me
Okay, welcome back. Let's see. Let's choose. Vamos a elegir así. That's where we're about to finish. Rocío, choose your partner. Um, Carlos. Okay, Carlos, you have been chosen. During gray shape, kid. Thanks. I get a really fitness break. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics two weeks a week, and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Oh, uh, how well do you play? Very well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I give you a few tips. Okay, excellent. Good job. Vamos a corregir solo un par de mistakes. But a couple is guess twice y few. Okay, but that's it. Bien, eh, les recuerdo trabajar en la plataforma. Ya son las five, and I know that ya tal vez van a ir a hacer su cena o hacer ejercicio. I don't know what you're going to do, but you can go and do it right now. Les veo mañana. I will see you tomorrow at three o'clock. Yes? Yes. Have a good, good. Bye, bye. Of the afternoon and good night. Bye bye. Bye bye, teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye.